before I get up into this video, I just want to shout this guy out. Um, his video right here helped me make this uh, video I'm about to play um, watchable, or at least somewhat watchable. So, pardon the wind noise that's still there. I got rid of a ton of it thanks to that guy's video. So, going on. Check this out a Nissan Limousine Turbo Diesel. JDM AF. I thought this was like a Toyota Privia at first from the distance. But it's not. It's got a sunroof too. Sign me up. That thing is clean, boy. Who knows how long it's been here too. It was actually gone by the time I left this area. Had a double back over the overpass there. Sick. Maybe I'll do like a little Wikipedia thing. This thing seats like probably like 20. You know what I'm saying? Sick. Man, give it up for the people that created this thing. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Just the front end, that yellow part of the headlight is actually an integrated fog light. I learned that watching a few videos on it. But again, let's give it up for the people that created this thing. I mean, like, the design on this overall is amazing. Um, the front end is just so clean. I mean, sure, you probably had a 5% survival rate if you crashed head-on at anybody. But who wants to live after crashing something so clean? But yeah, so I didn't hop on the tires of this thing and see if it had this uh, huge sunroof but it was an option um, and I think most of them came with them I'm not 100% sure but look at how much space that is definitely limousine status for sure then they got the sign telling you not to go stupid hanging out the sunroof hanging out the sunroof the license plate uh, while you're driving they had swivel seats in the back I mean that's limousine AF and then you got the curtains on a remote you had, the, you had a cooling system, and the heating system, and the sunroof, and the audio on a remote. I could see a modern day version of this just being integrated with like an app or something. So you just have a phone, but it's got a huge trunk space on top of all the seating area. But yeah, look at how cool that thing is, man. It was just, it was just so cool to come across this uh, van. I've never seen it before, um, and it was cool to learn about them. It's kind of wild to think about it, but a lot of the cars and vans and trucks and stuff, they all kind of look similar at the same time, so you know that they're all sort of copying off each other's homework and coming up with different answers. Like, it looks like a Volkswagen bus, uh, a Conaline, and like this Mazda Bongo had a baby somehow, and that's what the Nissan limousine was. You see the next generation from 73 to 1980, um the top left picture, I mean, that thing looks dead on like a, a waggo, not a waggo, wow. Um, what is it called? Like a Vanagon, I think. The, the It's like the Westophilia turned into the Vanagon or something. I don't know. But same story. I mean, it's like the, all these vans all kind of look similar if you look at all the different makes and models that were available at the same time. And another thing to really point out is a lot of these vans came with the optional four-wheel drive and a lot of them came uh, as a turbo diesel so if you talk about longevity of these products that they used to put out I mean diesel's like trash for the environment in my opinion but <clears throat> it's reliable and you can't you can't deny that and when you're looking for a van to go taking your your family camping or just on a road trip you can't beat the re reliability of a diesel in my opinion Look how clean that is, boy. Imagine going camping with that, boy. That thing is so clean. I mean, even it's got it's got like its own little stance these too. Like it just looks fresh. I don't know. Maybe I'm just it's just because I'm an 80s baby or whatever, but yeah, that brings us to uh the modern day version. I'll skip over the other the other versions. Go straight to how how horrible it looks today because there was not many changes to that chassis until like 96 
and then it just kind of evolved into this modern day behemoth. It still looks like there's a, probably a 5% chance that you'd survive in a head-on collision with this thing, so I guess they haven't changed too much, but look how ugly that is. It's just, it's just a damn shame. But yeah, so I think that's where I'm going to end this video, folks. Um, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed uh, this car profile type video. I think I'm going to do more of them because I do come across a lot of cool cars riding my bike around and, you know, driving around or whatever. And um, I think it would be a, a, a fun way to kind of pay homage to the dope body styles we've lost and uh, just reminisce on how, how style used to be uh, a thing. So, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yerk.